I bought a 2009 Honda Accord for my son and the uh, sun visors would hang down. They would sag and they wouldn't retract all the way back up. So um, I did a repair to them and now they uh, seem to uh, do quite well at uh, staying up when I uh, put them up. I found a YouTube video on how to repair the sun visors on Honda Civics, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't find any on how to repair a Honda Accord. The repair on the Honda Civic was using post screws to tighten up the uh, sun visor that was uh, spreading apart. This was the internal uh, arm of the Honda Civic uh, visor. I then found a uh, post on a Honda Accord forum dealing with sagging visors on how to uh, try and fix them. And one of the posters actually split apart the Honda Accord sun visor so we could see the internal components of it. This catch right here is actually what holds the visor in place when you move it and keeps it from sagging and the poster said it comes unlatched or the latch breaks and then the visor begins to sag. You can see that this is a different uh, mechanism than what the Honda Civic uses. This here again is a view of the uh, latch and catch mechanism that uh, holds the visor in place. I am an x-ray tech and I figured that perhaps if I took an x-ray of the visor I could see where the uh, latch catch mechanism is and perhaps if I use David Sweeney's uh, method of post screws I could tighten that uh, latch up so perhaps the visor would not sag. This right here is the catch or the latch mechanism. In this particular image I laid a bolt on top of it so that uh, I could identify where I would have to drill a hole. I drilled a hole in the visor approximately three and an eighth inches from the edge of the uh, arm of the visor and also one inch down. That should place you within the middle of that uh, arm catch mechanism. This right here is a post screw. So you put one end of it from one side of the visor and then you tighten the screw head on the other and it will uh, tighten that visor up and hopefully it um, then uh, gave pressure on the catch mechanism, which it did. You use a 5 8 inch threaded post screw, uh, which you can get at Lowe's, and this is the package that it comes in. This right here is my repair of the visor and I painted the post screws with tan spray paint and uh, this is the side that uh, faces uh, the driver. When you pull the visor down you see the uh, side that you have to screw in with the screwdriver. I painted it but the uh, screwdriver did uh, take a little of the paint off. Also, use a washer under the head of that screw. Otherwise, the fabric will bunch up as you tighten up the screw. 
that washer prevents the uh, fabric from uh, being dragged around in a circle when you tighten it. This right here shows you how to remove the visor uh, from the uh, roof of the car. There is a uh, button you have to push in. Here they're showing that you use a screwdriver. I found a wood dowel the size of that button actually did better. You push it in and then you rotate the visor backwards about 45 degrees. This is the button you have to uh, push in and um, I used a wood dowel to push it in with. I found that it did better than using a uh, screwdriver. Once you push the button in, simply pull the visor backwards towards you about 45 degrees and it will release and uh, drop out of the overhead and then you just disconnect the uh, wire. This uh, fix worked for me. You can try it and see if it helps you and see if it uh, relieves the sag that a uh, Honda visor, Honda Accord visor has as they get older. Uh, I hope you like it and give me a thumbs up if you do.